How's it going, guys? I'm Tim. And I'm Dylan. We have another Not Your Average Beer Review for you today. It's been a while, actually. Like, a long while. And we already failed once at recording this. Yeah. So. We, we were a little rusty right now. The one we started didn't save, so we're going to do this all over again, except with none of the fucking pageantry that we had last time. We got poured it. We fucking talked about it. It was glorious, but, but of um, course, you know. We already have it poured. Yeah, so it's poured. But anyway, the beer we have today is Sam Adams... Stony Brook Red. It's a Flanders Red, I believe mm. is the proper terminology. Yep. Belgian style tart, wildish ale. Read the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> a unique Belgian style red with a hint of tart fruit and toasted oak character. There you go. I think that works. And it's uh it's good so far. Oh, it's least. really good. I um it smelled like Robitussin and vinegar. <laughs> it was awful. Like, it just... It, it's pungent. It's pretty fucking I, I just avoid smelling it when I go to take a sip. Because the you, you smell is a fair chunk of your fucking taste buds. Oh, it's buds, horrible. Of your taste senses, so. It's just absolutely awful. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but, that being said, it definitely tastes a lot better. Oh, yeah. It... You know, it, it says that it tastes almost like wine on the bottle, and I'm thinking it's, like, not almost well, like wine. it doesn't say it on the bottle. It says that on fucking beer. So. I mean, it says it here somewhere, too. Somewhere. But It anyway, says nothing it's, about it. It says nothing. But okay. it does taste like wine with um, carbonation, like red wine with carbonation on the, on the front. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice dark, dark red ale. You can see through it. It, um, it's nice. I mean... It's got, it's got the toasted oak sweetness, and then, um... The aftertaste is very malty. You get a little bit of you don't get alcohol burn necessarily. No, like no. You it's get like little. the warmth the warmth, but you don't get the burn. Uh, One of the things that I mentioned when we first did this was um the figginess and the plumminess. Yeah. It was it's definitely it has a lot of red wine characteristics. It's to like it. it's like a it's like if barley wine could taste like red wine. Yeah, basically. That's exactly how I would describe it. If barley wine tastes like this, I might like them more. <laughs> I like like two. <laughs> this is this is true. Um, um, it's I mean being a Belgian. I mean I poured a huge asshole of a head, so it, <laughs> and we still have more to drink. So we do. There's there's a solid. There's enough for like another half a beer for each of us in here. All right, it's pretty well, solid. Uh, it's good so far. We'll come back in about. Yeah, hopefully this one saves because okay. I mean. We'll come back in about twenty minutes. I'm watching it record right now. We'll come back in twenty minutes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hello. Ready. Maybe. Okay, you go first. I'm going to take a rip. This fucking guy. Hi, I'm Dylan. <laughs> We're they back. Know, they know We're who back. we are. We're back. We are back. We're back because we've been drinking this entire, this entire 750 of Stony Brook Red from Sam Adams. It's, no, it's, it's really it's, not. It's super acidic. It's very drinkable, but yes, it's uh, you can feel it in your stomach, definitely. For a nine percent, I consider this a sour by any fucking stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's not as bad as, like, Sour Monkey was for the same ABV, but at the same time, it's, like, it's definitely, it's... It's, it's a sour ale. Yeah. It's extremely tart. It's, it's very, it's not, like, lip puckering. It has a lot of the same, like, nose notes as, like, like Wild Devil did. I think, but... um, it has moments where it's lip puckering. Yeah. If, if you drink a lot of it, like, you take a nice, like, good-sized like, chug. You'll see our faces on the last sip, <sighs> which I'm gonna take a couple more before I fucking do. This fucking guy. It's, uh... No, I think it's, I think it's definitely a minus for me. <sighs> I'm gonna give it 90. I'm probably gonna give it an 87. I think during the summer think, this could taste yeah better. I think be it better. would be much better in the summer. The only only issue I have with it is the nose. Honestly, like I think I think if there was a way for them to get the nose to match the taste a little bit better. I think it would be better because I mean, you go to drink it, you take a sip, it, you smell it first, and you're just like, oh, it's like it's just, it's very pungent. It it doesn't it doesn't have an appetizing nose to it. Whereas like a lot of like the sours that I would be like, oh, I'd buy that again, like sour bikini. You smell the nose. The nose it's very pungent, but it's like a good pungent. And this is, it's not like a good pungent. I mean, it's it's Sam Adams, which. You know, I mean, you can say what you want about Sam Adams, but they're usually pretty solid. This is way better yeah, than I expected really, it to be. Yeah, and this is really, really good, honestly. It, it, it blew away all my expectations. I've had another beer in the series, and I recommend all of them to try. Because <laughs> barrel-aged, um, whether it's whiskey or just oak, 
beers typically at a more pricey side, and this is ten dollars for a seven fifty. Oh, I know it's fucking. It's like it's, we were talking about. It's cheaper than like decent wine yeah. for the same volume, and it tastes fucking close enough if you're looking for a wine type of taste. It's way more fucking like. Yeah, it won't get you as drunk for the same, but I mean, it, I mean, whatever. If, if you're just looking, it's to also drink way more acidic than I expected it to be. Yes, it's. Don't drink it on an empty stomach. No, that would be a bad idea. I've sure. done that. You can do that with a beer, but yeah, not it, this beer. <laughs> it's like drinking like super acidic coffee on an empty stomach. It, you can kind of like, feel it in your stomach. It's like orange juice first thing in the that morning too. without breakfast, kind of. I don't know. I approve of the beer itself, though. Oh, it's a great beer, honestly. It's it's very good. I think... This is the highest I've rated to say about it, this beer. In my life. I don't, on a personal note, we haven't reviewed any here besides this, but... The Target Rebel Grapefruit the other day, I don't know if you know, and it's actually, like, really solid. I know, I, I like most of the same Adam stuff. Like, it's really lager's bad. okay. Oh, fuck. Update my virus protection. Anyway, we're just gonna... We're just gonna pretend that doesn't happen. I'm not on the internet right now. You can fuck off. Okay. Um, so, without further ado... <laughs> let's, let's do this. That was too hard. Ooh. 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 Yep. Yep. That was sour as fuck. Lemon. I got that it. was really weird. Like, I don't understand how that got to be lemon. <laughs> but no, it was it was there. It was real. Uh, okay. my phone off. Cover for a second. Uh, that was actually... It's good. It's, it's a very different really beer good. when you take a big sip. It is. <laughs> that it's. Okay, so good. final rating. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an 89. Okay, Solid. I'm gonna like give, B B B plus. I'm gonna stick with 90. Yeah. It's honestly. A minus. It, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's the same fucking rating. Like, ooh. Your um, only issue was the nose. Yeah, I think. I mean, the nose is fine for what it is, honestly, because it's it's a that type of beer. Yeah. But I think if they could make the nose less pungent and more of the tartness that the taste is, I think it would be an infinitely better beer to drink. I think it's a little cold out right now, so I think a little warmer you'd get a little bit, bit more of that oak sweetness, which I, I think, think so. I desired. So, if under prime circumstances, I think this beer could be like a 92, 93. I do. I mean, it has like a fucking three and a half on untapped, and I don't know why, because I think I think it's definitely better than that's like what? That's like a what a seventy? Like it's definitely like that's like fucking Corona with lime. Like what the fuck? <laughs> that's awful. Anyway. Anyway. We will be back next video. Yeah. With if... one of these three we have here, probably Ultra Base. I don't think we're uploading them in that order, but uh, it'll work. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see we'll see if Ultra Base happens. Yeah. <laughs> Ultra Base will be next though. Bye. Bye bye.